One. All right, Ruth, thanks for joining us today. We're having a special conversation today because I feel we all need to come to that point where we begin to learn uh, certain things for running, especially in moments like this. And we tagged it Entrepreneurs Quarantine. Top three must okay. do activities. But before we begin, Ruth, can you sh share with us who exactly is Ruth Zuberu? My audience needs to know who they are watching right now, who they are listening to. Most of some of them probably know me or they don't even know me. But that's you yeah, are the focus today because you are our guest. So who exactly is Ruth Zuberu? Thank you so much, um, Tony Chef, for having me speak to your community. And it's such an honor and a privilege. Who is Ruth Zuberu? I'm a woman of many parts. <laughs> That's how I like to start. But for the purpose of what we're discussing today, I'm the lead consultant for ABC Global. And I help individual brands and businesses grow their online visibility and profitability. So I help them get seen, get known, get paid in that, in that, in that sense. But I have not always been this. I'm, I'm, I'm a wife, I'm a mother to three children, three boys, six years and under. And I started off in 2015, barely knowing what a URL is. And so my first degree was in human anatomy. And now I run a digital communications agency. I did all of that, you know learning and implementing skills off of the internet and so it's an, an amazing time to be an entrepreneur right now because there, there are a lot of things that are changing and they're changing for our good i believe everything that happens especially to me happens for my good and so even in this quarantine there are a lot of ways that many people can take advantage of but the truth is what are you doing with what you have right now because it's the seeds that you sow today that you'll be able to reap from tomorrow in a nutshell interesting what what a profile so uh, will it be right to say you have been quarantine working before now <laughs> yes yes so everybody is just joining me this is usually what okay apart from my two older sons being home this is usually how it is for me i work from home i do most unless i have to go for meetings or um yes every other thing i do i work from home and so it's amazing to see how the world is reacting to a work from home situation but it's not the end of the world no it isn't well it's not our fault it's something that we are not we are not very used to Used we are not used to. to yes, <laughs> we all yes. are not. Uh, we all are not. Are not work for more people. Now let's 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 dive deep into the topic for today. So, entrepreneurs quarantine top three uh, top three things uh, uh, as you call it that entrepreneurs. And can you share with us this? I know you are loaded, and I know you've come prepared for us. So can you share with us? Um, feel free to. Feel free to knock yourself out. Go as in-depth as you can. All right, my, my audience, they are ready to digest. I'm sure some of them have got their notes, their pens. They are ready to jot down. So please, knock us no off. Fact, Share with us. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Delusha. It's um, an amazing thing to see that a quarantine situation can be turned around. Like I said, I'm very spiritual in the way that I conduct my business. And um, forgive me if you hear me say things like um, God or things like I believe. So, so my faith and the work that I do is intertwined. Now, when a situation such as a quarantine comes in, the first thing I think about is that this has not come by surprise. And so how can I make this work for me? Because the Bible says that all things work together for good to them who, are, who love God and who are called according to his purpose. And so I am doing the work that I do 
because I believe that's part of why I, I should be here right now. That's part of my purpose. And so how can this work together for my good? And the truth is, when we begin to think in the, se- in the positive sense, God has such a way that see positivity in the things that, that come to us. We begin to see doors, we begin to see windows, we begin to see light. Like some other people will say, the universe begins to present opportunities here and there to everyone who is going to be coming up. And then you then begin to wonder, ah, well, I didn't even see this in the beginning. Yes, because unless you intentionally look for something, you would not find it. And so what is the goal you should be looking for in this quarantine period? And what are the things that you should be doing? It's what we're going to be discussing here and now. Now, the first thing is put your house in order. What do I mean by put your house in order? Your house as, that's the first thing, put your house in order. Your house on the internet are your, represents your digital assets. So for entrepreneurs, what is your house? How do people see you? Where are the places people can find you? Adjust that. If you're, if you're only on social media, like a lot of people are, what, what goes on in your bio? Have you analyzed your bio? What should be on your bio? So your bio should have who you serve, what you help them do, and how they can reach you. Now, these are the, this is the time to clear it up. This is the time to arrange everything that needs to be arranged. Put your house in order. Now, your processes, for those who, are, who have physical products, what are the processes? How does somebody actually buy your product? Do they have to send a WhatsApp message? Do they have to DM you? Do they have, what are the processes? Are there any break is there any break in communication along the line so your um whatsapp link do you have a link tree on your bio or do you have a link where everybody who wants to to go to to see you or to get your product or service do you have links for it this is also the time to gather your testimonials what are testimonials testimonials are um good will messages from people who have used your products or your services so good will messages so you have this is the time to begin to reach out to clients even if they, they are friends or even if they are people who you have volunteered for that you reach out to them say hello how are you doing um, um how was that? you get feedback as well so and um, you use our you use our product or you use our service can you share with us how it has helped you you know the either how it has helped your skin or how it has helped you make get their feedback so it will do two things for you one you would get the good feedback good testimonial that you can publish you can ask them do you want your name to appear do you want it to be posted anonymously then you can then have that as content for you to share Secondly, it gives you feedback. Feedback in such a way that you can then be so that if you, you can then get complaints. So people would not outrightly, the moment they buy something and there is an issue, they will begin to send you messages. But if you reach out to them, they will now say, okay, it's because you reached out to me. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. I didn't like this. Your business will be better because of that feedback. So you can then go back to the drawing board and then say, okay, yes, I need to do this more. I need to do this more. I need to implement this and implement that. But if you don't reach out to them, you are not going to get that feedback. Do you understand? And so that is something every entrepreneur should should do in this period. Reach out to your clients and customers and get their feedback and get testimonials. The second thing you should also do is follow up on leads. You know those people that say, okay, I'll get back to you. Yes. So yeah, this is time to get back to them. Everybody is on their phone. Everybody literally has nothing to do. Like they're not going out, they're not busy, they're not in traffic. All the usual, all the usual excuses are not there. So follow up on those leads. Say, hello, hello, ma'am. Are you you 
we reached out to you a couple of um, weeks or months ago and you said you would get back to us. Have you made a decision so that after this, you'll be able to do this and that and that? Then you hear from them. Some of them might have even forgotten how to reach you. And they've just, ah, there was somebody that reached out to me. Oh, how am I going to, how am I going to get to them? And that is where, that's where you um, come in. And that's where you now begin to show them that, oh, no, no, no. This is the best time for, for you to come back to me. You know, so, so that you don't leave money on the table. You don't leave money on the table. The first is putting your house in order. Sending a request for feedback so that you can better implement changes that would help your business grow. Because the truth is, so many times we are, we as business owners, we are so much in love with our products and services that we think that everyone should do and services through the eyes of through the eyes of a a user so ruth we're having some issues mm -hmm. with Ethos. you because of your network you're cutting off um, at some point so you said something about um, is this clear now yes it's it's clear now though it's saying that your bandwidth is the but again um i don't want to repeat a point you said something about we producers being in love with our product can you just repeat that okay okay yes so um entrepreneurs are in such a way that you understand the product you know why you have created it but the truth is you might have a blind spot you may not clients or customers are seen about your product so it's important for you to get feedback from your clients and and know how the usage the actual people actual users how they feel about your products and services other streams of a particular product or service because of how you get feedback. So that's the first one. Um, put your house in order. Gather testimony. So we didn't get a thought thing. You went off uh, You went off at that point. Uh, could you please help us from the beginning there? Um, this is internet problem with our country, but we accept. Oh. So the thought thing, you're saying about the thought thing. Okay. Okay. This the thought to the processes and delivery. So with the advent automation people are to Sorry, Ruth, we can't... We... Okay, I've removed the earpiece and mic. It's I'm better now. Sorry about that. It's the network we, we all have. Now, your, your processes and your payment systems, how have you aligned them to be as automated as possible? So some people... If you are, if you have links already on your, on your, being able to set this up, the company. Yeah. So what? Well, there was the last part that I was able to, that you heard. Or I should do a quick recap from the beginning. Where did you hear last? Make your processes okay, so, and payments automated. Exactly. So making making your processes and payments automated, it helps you reduce the the time you spend on delivery of service. And 
and helps you generate more customers you want. We all want more customers, more clients, and all that. So the, the earlier your system, the earlier you implement systems that help you deliver your products and services, the better it will be for you. For example, if you have digital products, you can load your digital products if you have an ebook or you have a, a, a video course, things like Teachable, Coursecraft, or even uploading them to Google, Google Drive or Dropbox and creating a link, setting it up as on the thank you page of your pay stack, such that once people just pay, they are redirected to the thank you page. They download it and they watch it. There is no back and forth. I paid for your ebook, I haven't seen it, or I paid for your course, I haven't gotten the access to it. Or you can even set it up to, to go wherever you even use email auto response. So ensure that you have you have automated your processes mm -hmm. as much as possible. Now the next your stakeholders. This is put this is under putting your house in order. Yours are engaged our stakeholders so for stakeholders you have your customers you have your clients you have vendors people who your delivery person is a stakeholder <laughs> stakeholder all them you can't really do business your face those are stake business so the digital tools, the human factors, those are the you should do it. You should ensure that, okay, you're keeping up, you're being in touch with them. In case you're done, then realize that the person that does delivery, the person is no longer, already have things to deliver, and then you're not somebody who will do delivery. Yes, 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 still on a Okay, so that's a uh, your stakeholders are people without them, they, they they play one part or the other in delivery of your services, people you buy your products from, people that help you do your business. For those who are in like the fashion business, your stakeholders will be those who you buy from, do delivery, people who help you if, you're, if you have tailors, those are your stakeholders. Those are people that help you create your business and help you deliver your business to your clients. So ensure you maintain contact with them, check in with them, know what exactly they are doing and how they are going to be post COVID because some people would decide their businesses. Some people would try to change models so that you are not caught on unawares. It will be a matter of that. Oh, you didn't tell me that they are, you are going to stop doing delivery. Now I don't have any other person. Okay, so this is the time to follow up on them once in a week or every other week, checking with them, how are they doing, how are they planning to resume post-quarantine, and then how that is going to be affecting your business. So that if you will be having to do a plan B, you will immediately get on it and start planning for an alternative. Okay, so that's putting your house in order. That's putting your house in order. Now, for... The second thing that you really need to do, you need to do in this period is to think about creating a digital product. Digital product creation has never been more important than it is right now. And digital products, it is not restricted for only those who are info creators. So for those who are speakers, coaches, uh, and authors, it's easy for people to say, yeah, they can always have a digital product. They can always have an ebook. But somebody who 
is a tailor can create a digital product in this someone who is a is a is a fashion designer or has a beauty a, a, a boutique can create a product on to wear or how to select clothes that would do you understand a digital product is something that the the consultations you offer your clients with mouth when they come into your office package that knowledge and put it in an ebook put it in an audio format do a course people pay for different things i mean someone can is people pay for how to teach your dog to sit down so so please let's let's think about how am i how am i serving my audience apart from the regular buy and sell and how can i convert that to digital a lot of people offer consultations that they don't realize or they don't account for it their payments and so if if you are selling fish catfish and then in your in most times you always tell tell your you're always telling your clients how they can different ways they can cook catfish different ways they can store catfish that it doesn't get bad all those things you can create an ebook about it and then sell it for a thousand naira if you have a digital product you're sure that you can continually market and deliver an ebook without necessarily having to come to your shop or open up a store and so think about how do i create a digital form of my knowledge or of my service even if you don't have a a regular online business per se so like now i've talked about somebody who is selling catfish so it's if many people they they, they, they they like to buy catfish in bulk but i'm afraid what if i buy it and it gets spoiled if somebody creates a a guide on how to buy store and cook catfish in varieties it will be interesting for me to buy it's something i'll be interested in because i want to i want to buy buy it to be able to use it for my good so creating a digital product is something that is very 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 important for your business going forward why it will help you build trust people will be able to say okay for the person to do this that means that i can trust the person for more so your digital product can even go farther than what you can regularly do um if people just come in contact with you just like that and so creating a digital product will help you surpass your business goals because just imagine if somebody takes your digital product and uses it in a different location they call you for consultation and you're able to provide service you have given yourself another stream of income that you didn't think of or that wouldn't have been possible if you did not create a digital product now the third thing you must do is that you must create content you must create consistent content you must remain in the face of your audience the audience has a very small small attention span online and it's four seconds actually online and you can imagine how many people are scrolling through things right now people are doing tiktok videos people are, are doing feed updates up and down you need to be sure that your customers are getting consistent content even in this period now people will say ah but if i'm talking about my product or service in this period to be as if i'm insensitive there are ways for you to create content that you would not be insensitive you can do throwbacks you can do um praise your customers you can begin to talk about people who have bought from you you're not saying come and buy come and buy but you're still remaining top of mind you can plug into um what's going on around the world celebrate doctors celebrate nurses you can talk about people who are in relevant in your relevant in your business business model so that it doesn't it doesn't help it doesn't make you lose relevance because the truth is that when people do not see you they look for alternatives so don't let your business die out because there is quarantine how can you use this to grow your business remember your content online is supposed to do five things let's quick we're going to be um, migrating to another room but let me talk about these five things your content online is supposed to educate
communicate with your audience. So, what are you going to about your industry that educates your audience? Your content online is supposed to entertain your audience. So, things that will inspire them, that will make them laugh, that will make them feel that you, you both are in this together. Share humor. Entertain them. Your content online is supposed to inform them. Give them updates. Ensure you remain positive. Don't be about all of the deaths and all. Be the voice of positivity. Ah, this is number has recovered. This person this is the person's testimony. I mean, bring updates that are relevant to your business and to the global pandemic. That's for information. Four, your content online should be able to help you build relationships. Now, you're building relationship with influencers, you're building relationship with other business people, and you're building relationship with your followers. So what can you post to build relationships? Are you doing shout outs? Are you doing feature stories? Are you doing um, things that can make somebody feel good? Somebody is celebrating their birthday, whether you're a follower, whether you're a peer, business party or friend, or an influencer. Shout their mouths, put them all out there, celebrate them. That's what your content should do. And so that's the fourth thing. And then the fifth thing is that your business should sell. So just imagine if out of five posts that you do is one, only one post that has anything to do with anything about your products or service. People will not frown at it, but you're just reminding them. And in this selling of your products and service, you can do a throwback. You can do a testimonial of people that have bought from you. You can do a, 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 a throwback of maybe if you're an event planner, picture of something you had done before you can do a throwback of you were cooking the um, behind the scene processes of what your actual day-to-day -day business is about or if you're uh, a digital person a, a throwback of what it takes how many hours it takes to do an editing job i mean just so you're mentioning your work you're mentioning business but you're doing it in such a way that it's not salesy salesy because it's when you do that a lot of people begin to be sensitive. You're not considering the fact that we're in a difficult period, um, sensitive to the people. Those are the things you need to do to post in your content. Because many people feel, eh, so I, if I'm not posting about services, how am I going to create content? How, what am I going to be doing online? Let me just be watching other people's videos and all that. No. There's a lot, a lot, a lot that you have to post. There's a lot that you have to do. Because the truth is post-quarantine, post for those who have been posting to build relationships, giving shout out to, you have built relationships with them, you can leverage on those relationships to then promote your services. And so, if, if when you remember guidelines that you're posting, you're posting to entertain, you're posting to inform, you're posting to build relationships, and then you're posting to sell. So whether you're a business person, so that you're, you build your no life, all of this, um, I, I treat all of this in my book, um, Tolusha is about how you can get the book, you know, realize that, okay, I have a responsibility to my audience. I don't just disappear. Because the truth is, out of sight, online is out of mind because if you come back after four weeks what's the guarantee that a lot of people will even remember who you are and what your business is about you will now have to be doing double work in order for people to actually remember you and come to the temple you were before